Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. As we get set for this American Hockey League showdown, we send it brick side to Ray Ferraro. People don't know enough about the American League. It's a hard league. You've got young guys trying to climb up. You've got older guys trying to hang on. And it is an unpredictable, exciting league. This should be a good game. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The checkers start with possession as we are now underway. Here's a chance. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Timmins gains the zone. Charlotte's looking to break out of their own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Cuts to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick feed to Salamaki. Colorado's got it along the wall. Charlotte's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And here's a shot. That eyes him on the play. Colorado's got the puck along the boards. Let's the wrister go. A quick one here, and look at this, the first goal of the game. Man, I don't even think anyone's really settled into the game yet. And already we have the game's first goal. Oh, what a shot. Top shelf beats the goaltender, but he's not set. They have possession of the puck, but that's such a bad turnover. I don't think he was able to get out and get himself squared up to the shot. up early impressed by the way they're playing so far really i am uh, we talked to their coaches this morning and they said like every team you want to start quickly but this is about perfect and now it's grabbed by sherwood carries the puck through the neutral zone and he takes a shot and that one's turned away scoops up the puck here they go on the attack from the left side to the low slot. Stones him in front. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The Checkers have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Charlotte's got it, and they're on the attack. Stones him with the blocker. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Checkers lead it 1-0. The Frozen Biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The Eagles will play it in their own end. Moves inside! And he denied that opportunity. The Setters will glide into the dot. Charlotte's won the draw. The Checkers will play it from the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. Here he is in close. Stick save. Colorado's moving it up the ice. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes the feed. The Eagles play it along the wing. Nice pass. Skates across the blue line. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. Anderson stick handling in his own zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. He was locked in there. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. More than half the frame has been played here. Charlotte's ahead, 1-0. The Checkers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Cuts into the paint! Gives them nothing in front. The Eagles take it along the wall. From one point man to another. 
And he makes the save. Charlotte's got the puck in the defensive end. Takes the feed. Receives the pass. Slides the puck over. Denies him in front. Colorado's got the puck. From the right side, takes the pass. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Moves right to the middle. Here he is from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Charlotte's got the lead here late in this first period. Tries has won the draw. Puck grabbed by McDonald. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. From the right side, moves it up ahead. To the front. Way too much. Congestion blocks that. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. The checkers take possession in the defensive end. Sends a pass over. From the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Tries. Plays it against the boards. Nothing doing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. The checkers have it now. Up along the wing. Shot. Scores with a little added drink on the side. I like when the bottle goes up in the air, how angry the goalie gets. Like he slaps the bottle away. It's not the bottle's fault. Like stop the puck, man. Just the insult to injury with the bottle pop. It's always amazing. A great chance at one end. Moments later, it's in the other net. It didn't take very long. The checkers double to their lead. Now it's 2-0. Really good play by them as they get out to the four check again. They generate some more. And that second one is a little bit of a cushion. Denied by the goaltender. And with the sound of the horn, that means the conclusion of period number one. The checkers get the start they were preaching about at the morning skate. They lead 2-0. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Official has made his way back to center rice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Charlotte's game plan was to get out quickly. Did they ever? They've had a pile of shots and a two-goal lead. The Eagles gain control of the puck against the wall. Through center. Colorado's in now. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Down the right side and into the zone. The checkers take it from the side. Can't connect. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. Oh, wide of the net. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. There's another stop. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here's a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Charlotte's gained possession. Takes a shot. And that goes off a player in front. Slides it diagonally to Salamaki. Sends the pass over. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Hammers one. Misses over the net. The checkers scoop it up along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. 
with possession along the wall. Snaps it on net. He scores! Jumps all over his rebound and puts it in. Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight, and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. The checkers are up big, but they don't look comfortable out there. No, it's like they're nervous that there might be a little bit of pushback from the opponents, although I gotta tell you, after watching this game to this point, I don't see it. Scored by number 22, Patrick. Moves the puck. Assisted by number 21. Skates to the crease! His reflex is on display tonight. Again, the denial by the goaltender. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Here he is, wristed on net, denies him! Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Colorado's in transition. Hammers a shot, gets in front of it. Charlotte's moving it along the wing. Here's a rip! He scores, make that four straight. They seem stunned. Like, they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. Well, that screen looked like it was just about perfect, didn't it? He doesn't even react as this puck goes by him. Colorado's going to switch things up between the pipes. I guess you can't pull the whole team, so you just pull the goalie. He's had enough go past him tonight. Charlotte's on a roll tonight. They extend the lead here in the second. Everything they do is better than the other team tonight. This is a domination performance. The checkers win it. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Takes the pass. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Quick shot, shuts him down. The checkers move the puck in the defensive zone. They go on the attack from the left side. Let's it go. Stopped by the goaltender. Tosses it to Salamaki. Colorado's across the blue line. And he slides it quickly to tries. Long jam in front. That's broken up. The checkers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gains the zone through center. Here's a shot. Big time stop there. Moves it quickly over to Salamaki. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it to tries. Here he is in front. Fantastic save. Tries to the crease. And that banks off a stick. Made that stop. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's got to find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. Charlotte's on the attack. Snaps it onto the net, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. The checkers take over on possession. What a stop as he puts out the fire! No, well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Here in the later stages of this period, Charlotte's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. Puck scooped up. Oh, he had a beat, but it goes off the inside post. Charlotte's been all over them tonight. They're comfortably in front, and while they don't get a bounce there, they don't need it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Scores! What a way to finish this race. Sorry, James. You give up one that late in the period, it is really difficult to recover. I always have zero sympathy for the goalie. That's a tough break. Bad break for him, you bet. But the puck goes into the net after somehow it's funneled that way and it bounces around into the cage. Colorado's 
got one here in the second. They need many more to follow, though. Yeah, but they've got to start somewhere, I guess. Something positive, something to build on, but it's been a pretty rotten game for them so far. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. And by number 76, Josh Anderson. Final goal, 19 minutes, 57 seconds. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. Drop the puck here in period number three. Tries, wins it. Puts it on net. Glove save, and he handles it with ease. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Colorado's got a long way to go to try to get out of this jam as they trail by three. And the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Dished on over to Timmins. Moving into the attacking zone. Now a quick pass to Salamaki. Shot in front! The checkers take it along the wing. Moves into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Well, we'll get another look here. As we see, this shot is deflected and it forces the goalie into a much more difficult save. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Eagles take possession off the faceoff. Handles the puck. Across the line. The Checkers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And he gains the zone here. Chase right in front. Scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Quickly out of the zone on the odd man rush. We get a look at it here, James, and there's nobody in place defensively to spoil this, and it's in the net. All too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. Gets it to the other point. Comes up with a stop. Quick pass to Salamaki. Through center along the wing. They've got the defense outnumbered. The checkers get a hold of the puck in their own end. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Oh, going wide. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Passes it to Timmins. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Into the corner now. Right in front. Oh, a clutch save. The checkers have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Cross looks around. Shot! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Right in the slot! The glove making it look easy on the play. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Past the midway mark in this period. 5-1 is where we sit to this point. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. 
Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. Scores! The answer right back. That's a heck of a response. You give one up, you want to try and get it back as quickly as possible. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Colorado's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scorers out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Scored by number 60. The checkers played along the boards. Oh, and a little too much air on that one. He's trying to shoot that right next to the goalie's ears. Get it up top, but he shoots it too high. Tries to the sweet spot. Oh, that gets a piece of the stick. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Takes the puck along the boards. Turn that chance aside. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. Sherwood's got it along the boards. Shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Most dangerous place on the ice. And he can't capitalize. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Late goings of this period. The Eagles have a deep hole to dig themselves out of trailing by three. Tries, wins it in the offensive zone. Turns it away. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Lets it fly, and that one's stopped. Find some space in the corner. On the attack along the boards. Wrists one. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Tries, plays it along the wall. The Eagles looking against the half wall. The checkers look to start the transition game. Here they come up along the wing. Shot. Oh, what a stop. In the third period. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed. Here's a short pass to McDonald. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Pass back to the point. And he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a grade A chance. The checkers move to the offensive zone. Let's it go. Just wide of his target. He doesn't miss it by much. And he often doesn't miss from there. Looked like he had it from up here. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. And that goes wide. Sometimes you're so focused on shooting it quickly, you don't get it on the net. From center, they get into the attacking area. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Kicked away. Nice pass saved by the goaltender. If you're going to make the save as the goalie does here, you've got to read the play and have the reflexes to execute the save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray, I'm James, good night.